Team coverage of Bob McNair's comment continues now with Channel 2's Taisha Walker. She's been talking to the Texans fans and is joining us live near NRG. Taisha. Lauren, Texan fans that we spoke with had differing opinions when it comes to players kneeling for the national anthem, but they were all in agreement today about you can't take back an apology after you gave one. Now, many of them wondering whether this might even be a PR stunt on the behalf of McNair. They tell me that they thought that this whole controversy ended last year after the Texans owner apologized for his comment. Now they tell me they're a little bit confused as to why he's even talking about it now or why he would even want to take back his apology. One fan even going as far as to say McNair might need to step down from the team. Once it's said, it's said. I mean, you can try to sit there and take it back everything you said wrong. I mean, but the damage was already done, you know, I mean. I think that's crazy. I feel like you mean what you said the first time and because of all the publicity and the negative impact, now you want to take it back. That's no. Now I think it's like he's getting old. His kids need to step in or something like that because it's going to hurt the team in the long run. Nobody wants want to play for us. Some players might want to leave. The NAACP was outspoken after McNair's initial comment last year, and they do have something to say today. We're hoping to bring you that sound coming up on KPRC Channel 2 News at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live outside of NRG Stadium, I'm Taisha Walker for Channel 2 News. Stay with Channel 2 on air and online for any developments on this story. There are five things about McNair you probably don't know on our website and also on our website to look at how people are reacting on social media to his comments.